Alright guys, so today I'm going to be sharing with you the haul of stuff that I got from the last yard sale footage that you saw. So I do have a lot of stuff to go through, so I'm just going to start in on it, um, let you guys know what I bought and what I have it listed for. So we're just going to go in order, that way it's just easier for me uh, to keep track of where I am. So the first thing that I bought was this VHS tape. This is definitely an older VHS tape. It's called Children's Praise Volume 2 and it features these like live action kind of hand puppets and obviously um, they sing, you know, Christian songs and things like that. I couldn't find a date on it, but to me, I would guess this to be like late 80s, early 90s era, and it isn't a clamshell case. When I looked this up before I purchased it, it seemed like some um, other ones were selling on the higher side, so I decided to pick it up. I paid just 50 cents for it, and I listed it as a buy it now for $29.99. I don't really pick up VHS tapes like super duper often. They really kind of have to grab my interest in some way, shape, or form. And this one just looked like fun and was definitely older. So grab that. So I went to a yard sale and I go to it all the time. The lady that puts it on actually works um, with the family who does a lot of the auctions that I go to and it's so fun because she will kind of get the auction leftovers and you know sometimes she does bid on things herself but like if something doesn't get a bid like if no one bids on it no one buys it I'm um, kind of goes just to her it's a no sale and then she um, resells stuff just in her in her garage and I love going to her yard sales and sometimes like I will find stuff that I saw at the auction and maybe didn't win or that kind of thing and it kind of gives me like a second chance at um, purchasing it. So I did get a couple of things that I had not seen at any of the auctions I had gone to so I'm not quite sure where they came from but she had a bunch of vintage um, kind of like health and beauty items. So there was a lot of old shampoos. Uh, this one is an old pert shampoo and it is from 1979. So the shampoo is in here. It is pretty well, you know, new old stock is how I would describe it. Uh, so we all know like stuff like this sometimes gets purchased by not only collectors, <laughs> I know that seems weird uh, for old shampoo, but um, collectors or, you know, TV shows and movies and that kind of thing as props. So I did purchase this Pert shampoo for just 50 cents and I listed it for a buy it now of $49.99. So I did go buy other listings and things like that to kind of come up with my prices. So it does seem kind of high, um, but we're just going to go with it and see what happens. So obviously I'll let you guys know uh, when stuff sells and for how much it sells for when you see my chinching videos. So another vintage shampoo set I took was this bottle of BO5 shampoo and a conditioner. They were still sealed. Now the shampoo you can see is not filled to the top. So I don't know what happened. I'm guessing just over time it evaporated because there's no actual shampoo anywhere within the seal. So anyway, I paid 50 cents as well for this one. And again, I listed, listed it as a buy it now for $49.99. Got another shampoo. This one is a Breck. And I didn't tell you the date on the VO5. Was there a date on the VO5? 1987 for those. This one here is 1990. So this is a Breck shampoo. This one isn't quite filled to the tippy top, but there's still a lot in here. I'm weird and I like to smell, smell the stuff. <laughs> um, anyway, so this here again paid uh, 50 cents for, and I put this up as a buy it now for slightly cheaper, $39.99. It didn't seem like this one was quite worth as much as some of the others, plus it wasn't filled to the top. Keeping on with the vintage shampoos, I have two bottles of Head & Shoulders. I think these ones are from 1985. I paid 50 cents a piece for these, so a dollar for the two. 
I listed these as a lot for a price of $49.99. I'm going to be so happy if any of those sell. <laughs> Okay, next I got a Victoria's Secret perfume. This one was really nice. It's in this like velvet lined box. It is the Very Sexy Fragrance and it is a um, size 1.7 fluid ounce. So this is new. It said on the um, yard sale sticker that it was new um, and it does appear to be a full bottle in there. So I did pay $5 for this. And I listed this as a buy it now for $35.99. I got this frog Christmas stocking. I don't see a date on it, but it just looks vintage to me. It definitely looks older. So cute, little plush frog in a Santa hat. And he's musical as well. So I'm going to play this for you guys. So he croaks out the tune to Jingle Bells. I thought that was so cute. So I did pay a dollar for him. I could not find any of these listed or completed, so I had no idea what to ask for it. So I did put it up on auction with a starting price of $25.99. So we'll see if it sells for that or not. I think it was just my last yard sale haul where I shared a Puffalump plush that I purchased. I found another one. This one, again, a vintage Fisher Price Puffalump. This one is of a blue elephant but wearing a Hawaiian shirt. My last one was a pink tiger wearing a Hawaiian shirt. So I paid 50 cents for him and he's actually a little more desirable than the tiger that I bought. Um, so I do have him listed as a buy it now for $39.99. I got this vintage green coach purse. This is a green leather coach. It still has its original hang tag on it and the style of this is called the Ergo, E-R-G-O, and it's a pretty popular style of vintage coach bag. This is in really nice condition and it's like a kind of like dark green color. Just in really nice shape. I paid two dollars for this and I put this up on auction with a starting price of $49.99. It seemed like other bags like this, but different colors, sold for upwards of $100 um, on auction. So curious to see what this will sell for. I'm not quite sure exactly how popular um, this green color will be, but we'll see. I also got another purse. This one is a Betsy Johnson. It's got a rose print with skull and crossbones all over it. And it is a crossbody style bag. So this is just super cute, um, really nice condition. I paid $2 for this and I put this up on auction with a starting price of $29.99. Uh, I don't think I saw any currently listed in this print. So we'll see if that sells. You guys saw me pick up this vintage Bath and Body Works bar soap. This is in the scent Happy Daisy. It was a special edition. This came out in the 90s. So it's definitely a vintage Bath and Body Works fragrance that they don't sell anymore. I don't even think Bath and Body Works sells the bar soaps anymore, do they? I'm not sure. Maybe they do. Anyway. Um, discontinued. So I picked this up for a quarter. I put it up on auction with a starting price of $29.99. I didn't see any completed. I didn't see any sold. And there are currently only two Bath & Body Works items in this scent listed. I think they're both lotions and I'm pretty sure those prices are around the $70 mark. So I'm not quite sure how desirable the bar soap will be, but we'll see. I got this really awesome pair of Vans shoes. These are so cool. They were made um, for Discovery's Shark Week. They were from 2019, so um, discontinued. It looks like, well, they have a shark on the side, and it looks like he's taken a bite out of the Vans symbol here. I just thought that was so cool and unique. I had to get them. 
They are a men's size six, which is a women's seven and a half. They were really dirty along the white parts, but I cleaned them up and I think that they came out um, really nice as far as um, cleaning them up. So I paid just $2 for these and I listed them as a buy it now for $49.99. It seems like I just heard a cha-ching. It seems like uh, the ones that were listed in the same size, same style were new. So they were listed a lot higher um, than mine. But since mine are pre-owned, even though they're still in really nice condition, um, I went with the $49.99. All right, you guys also saw me pick up these amber uh, Indiana glass fairy lamps. So these are the bars and stars design. I mean, these, I feel like I see these like all the time, like around my area, these are a dime a dozen type thing. Uh, but they were only a dollar. They were very, very dusty, but I washed them up and you saw in the video too, that there were a couple ones. There was, um, two other amber colored ones. The one had a bunch of wax inside, which I, you know, I could have cleaned out pretty easily. Um, the red ones always are in bad condition. Every single one I've ever come across is always got like the chips out of the coloring on it. And I didn't pick up the clear because I'd rather list as a pair, just personal preference here. Um, and I did just pick up some clear home interiors ones that I haven't listed yet. Um, but like I, I prefer, you know, colored stuff and things like that. But anyway, a dollar a piece and I got two. So I do have a pair and I listed them as a pair. So $2. And I put these up as a buy it now for $35.99. There's only one other listing of these in this color being sold as a set of two and we're pretty much at the same price point there. So um, they're just really pretty. Like I said, I have one myself and I just think it's gorgeous. I got a longer burger basket. <laughs> I, oh my goodness. Okay, so I was at this yard sale and the lady was um, telling me that she had all these longer burger baskets and some man had come and was like, he bought like most of her Lanka burger baskets. There wasn't many um, that were left. And I was telling her, I was like, well, you know, I, I never really got into like collecting Lanka burger baskets or anything. Um, and she had this one for sale and she had $7 on it. And you know, we just got to talking and she's like, if you want that, I'll sell it to you for five. And I was like, you know what? This one's really cool. It is really cool. It looks like a bell, like it's shaped like a bell. It has like a little ribbon on. So very Christmassy. And it even came with the little route iron stand to hang it on. I thought that was really cute for $5. These really aren't worth much. There are some longer burgers that are worth a lot of money, but this isn't one of them. <laughs> uh, so I did pay $5 for it. And I put it up as a buy it now for $25.99. So um, hopefully that's still a good deal. Um, especially if, you know, you have other hanging things that you could reuse the uh, route iron stand to put something else on kind of thing. So while I was there, she ended up giving me this little longer burger basket for free. So I didn't pay anything for this one. Um, it is from 2002 and again, not really worth much, but I didn't pay anything for it. This one here, I listed up as a buy it now for $12.99. So it doesn't have like any kind of liner or protector or anything in it. It's just a little small basket. I picked up a CD. This one is iced tea. It is from 1989. I can't believe it's that old. Um, but I only paid a quarter for this. I didn't really know if it was going to be worth anything, but you know, sometimes when I'm driving around, I just want to listen to some stuff. So I picked it up for a quarter and it plays really well. Um, but I decided to sell it after I was done um, listening to it and I posted this up as a buy it now for $12.99. So again, I don't really pick up CDs, um, but that was just something I decided to pick up on a whim. 
Um, next I have a vintage Heckle and Jekyll coloring book. This is from 1977. It appears that um, the pages aren't colored on. I think there was like two pages that had a little bit of a smudge of crayon. Um, but otherwise, it does look like there were potentially two pages that were torn out of the back. Uh, but I paid 25 cents for this. I listed this up on auction with a starting price of $25.99. There are some Heckle and Jekyll coloring books that people have listed really high and I'm not sure why. I personally think that they're crazy. <laughs> so I'm not quite sure if I'll get that, get even the $25.99 for this, but um, we'll see. It's something that, you know, I don't come across very often, so decided to pick it up for 25 cents and see where it goes. I got this Bop It game. Um, again, this is older. I do believe it's from 1996. I put batteries in it and it works perfectly fine and I paid one dollar. Unfortunately, it's not really worth much. I have it posted up with a buy it now of $15.99. So when I put the batteries in and played it, I had never played it before. It was a fun game. It was kind of nerve wracking, but fun. All right, this next guy, I haven't listed him yet. He, I plan, my plan is to have him listed by this evening. So by the time you see this video, he should be listed. Uh, but I got this little dancing musical frog. He's dressed kind of like, um, uh, <laughs> like a little gangster basically he's got sunglasses on he's got bling on his hand he's got his chain and his hat to the side and this is actually by jemmy and some older jemmy products can sell nicely um so i'm not quite sure what i'm listing him for yet i have to check uh solds before i do that i'm going to play him but Probably not in its entirety, just so I don't get a copyright strike. super super cute I couldn't pass this up um, I did pay three dollars for it but I have high hopes for him just very cute very unique it would be like a perfect gift to someone um, whose birthday it is and get like a real good kick out of that so yeah that will be listed I found a vintage Care Bear Cousins hardcover book so let's see what year this is from. This is from 1985. I feel like when I come across Care Bears and stuff like that, I rarely see Care Bear Cousins. Um, so I don't think this book is really worth much of anything. I probably paid about a quarter or 50 cents for it. Uh, so I did just get a Strawberry Shortcake book very similar to this in my last yard sale haul. So I may keep it or I may just start like putting together a lot of these vintage like hardcover um, books. So you'll see that eventually probably, but I don't have it listed currently. All right, so the next item was that box of Mr. Christmas Easter plates. I'm not gonna get all of these out just because they are listed and I don't want anything happening to them, um, but there are six plates in this box and there's two of each plate. So there's uh, three different little images and these are so cute. They definitely have that um, vintage look to them and they are Mr. Christmas. They're called Mr. Cottontail. Um, so I didn't even know these were Mr. Christmas until I picked it up and looked at the back. I had no clue that it was so I paid five dollars for the whole box I wasn't quite sure what to list them for um, there were other people selling um, similar ones but less of them uh, so I went 
with an auction and I started them at $49.99. So we'll see if they sell for that or not. I got this um, black stuffed bear and he's got a rubber mouth and snout. He doesn't have any tags, so I'm not quite sure who he's made by. He's definitely vintage, um, but I'm not sure. I don't think he's a Rushton, uh, but I, I, I really have no clue. But I couldn't say no to him. I thought he was so stinking cute, so I just picked him up. Um, I did pay a dollar for him, and I put him up as a buy it now for $29.99. So we'll see if he sells for that or not. All right, so at the um, yarn sale that I went to, where I got the vintage shampoos, uh, there were um, some Estee Lauder makeup bags, and I had seen these at the auction. I bid on them, but I think I only bid like a dollar at the most because I was kind of like, eh, I don't really care if I get them or if I don't get them kind of thing. Um, but turns out, <laughs> Uh, they ended up being at the yard sale, so I went ahead and just bought them. I paid 50 cents for each bag, so $1.50 for them all together. So two of the bags look like this. I'll just show them to you so you can see what the bags look like, but you probably saw that when I picked them up. Um, Estee Lauder bags really aren't worth anything. I just wanted them because they had the Estee Lauder um, little gift with purchase sized um, products inside. And the great thing about some of those is um, at times you can find ones that have discontinued shades um, within the bags and that happened. There were um, two lipsticks. Unfortunately, the, um, the bags what two of them were like sealed everything in the bag was sealed and then one was open and the one that was opened was missing the lipstick so i only ended up with two of the lipsticks but these are in a shade that is currently discontinued from estee lauder called sugar honey so i'll just show you the color of that it's a very pretty color it's a shimmer um so discontinued shade so definitely worth more um I listed these up separately with a buy it now of $33.99. So if I can sell those each for $33.99, that, that more than paid for my bag. So if you come across any of those kind of cosmetics bags that have the products inside, um, definitely take a look at those products before you just list the entire bag all together because you might stumble upon an item in there that is you know harder to find and worth more to just sell separately kind of thing so i did that with some of the other items that were in those bags so i decided to sell the advanced time zone cream separately so this is in age reversing line and wrinkle cream and I listed this up as a buy it now for $22.99. And then there was also a jar of Estee Lauder Resilience Lift. This is a firming, sculpting face and neck cream. And this one I have up for a buy it now of $16.99. And funny enough, um... There were two tubes of fragranced body lotion in the scent Modern Muse, also obviously by Estee Lauder. And I actually found this small bottle of Estee Lauder Modern Muse perfume at a separate yard sale for a quarter. So I just decided to list these together as a lot, the little perfume with the two perfumed body lotions. I listed these up as a buy it now of $25.99. I saw someone had sold two of these lotions for $20 by themselves. So I figured, you know, I'll put those with a perfume for a little bit more and have a nice little lot there. I found this Orlando Magic Nightlight. So this is definitely probably from the 90s, I would say. It doesn't have a... Um, light bulb in there but it only takes a night light bulb and I did have one so I checked it to make sure that it worked and it does um, it's not really worth much I paid 50 cents for it and I listed it 
for a buy it now of $15.99. I couldn't believe it, but I found some Lush at a yard sale. I got a bottle of, this is Rose Jam Shower Gel. I have so much of this. I didn't need more, but I never, well, I shouldn't say I never find Lush at yard sales because I have before in the past, but it's very rare. I paid $1 for this and it's new still has the seal on it um so that's a great deal for a dollar uh rose jam is one of my probably my second favorite lush fragrance my first one being vanillary and i know a lot of people always i'm wondering what is behind me back on this shelf i've seen people say it's nail polish it's not nail polish it is perfume and it's all by um lush cosmetics it's like one of my favorite brands so if you're ever curious what's back there it's all perfumes they're not the same scent um but they are all lush perfume fragrances i got this Coors body butter set this was brand new still sealed i paid two dollars for it so Coors is definitely a um a high-end brand um and it comes with six different body butters so these are smaller they're 1.69 fluid ounces um but this is an older set it would have originally been sold at um on hsn um so i'm not quite sure exactly what it retailed for originally because i couldn't find any like price points um but i know some of the fragrances that are in here are a little harder to find or getting harder to find i should say uh, jasmine being one of them so i did list this kind of high i priced it as a buy it now for 49 dollars 99 and i figured that was still a good deal because like even if you would separate this and sell them at 10 a pop like you know you'd still be getting more you know for the money so i don't know <laughs> that's just what i what i went with i don't know if it'll sell for my asking price but um, if it doesn't, obviously I'll come down in price, but Christmas will be coming and that kind of thing. So I decided to get that and surprisingly, I didn't keep it for myself. <laughs> I got this plush here. This is, um, from the show Dragon Tales. Um, it's from 1999, so it's definitely getting older. Um, so yeah, I decided to pick it up just because I like never see dragon tail stuff while i am out yard selling so i kind of thought maybe it would be worth a little something um i paid 75 cents for it and i listed it up as a buy it now for 14 dollars 99 so unfortunately it's not really worth a whole lot but it was cute so i picked her up i got this um this is sealed uh <laughs> it's a hp photo value pack it has two ink cartridges in it 60 sheets of photo paper um so it's basically like a whole little set to print out photos on your computer obviously the ink is expired that happens all the time with older ink cartridges so i did pay 50 cents for this and i listed it up as a buy it now for 25 dollars and 99 cents i wanted to share these again with you guys because um, in my last yard sale haul, I had showed you these Bob Bond, uh, scaredy cat linens that I had purchased and I told you I didn't have it all listed yet. Um, I still haven't listed the placements and the napkins, but I did list the two terry cloth towels and i listed them together as a lot i know there's one person that was interested in these so um i did get those listed and i paid a dollar a piece for them so two dollars i put them up on auction the same that i started my other ones at at 29 dollars 99 so far none of them have bids <laughs> but they do have some watchers so i don't know if anyone's waiting till like the last second to bid or that kind of thing um so but yeah i just like showing you guys the things that i did um end up listing same with this next thing you guys already saw my troll dolls um in my auction hauls but i did get this one listed uh yesterday and she is so stinking cute oh my gosh so as as before i won't let you guys know what i paid for her um <laughs> just because there is an auction coming up, but I didn't see any troll dolls. Um, so 
I, we might be nearing the end of them. I'm not sure. But anyway, <laughs> I did list her for um $129.99 on auction. My last two sold for the same price and there is a bid on her already and it's a bidder that purchased one of my other ones. So um, hopefully she wins this one as well. Uh, she is so cute. So I do have two more yet to list. And then the last thing that I have to share are those three books you guys probably saw me pick up. Um, I did not list these because Eric, once he saw them, he was like, we should keep those and put those in our bookcase. So that's what we're doing. I decided to keep them. Now these were put out by Barnes & Noble in, I believe it was 2008 or 2018. Anyway, some of them say 2008. This one says 1992. So I don't know if like Barnes & Noble just puts these out every so often. I know there's tons of different titles that are like these really nice leather bound books with the gold gilt edges and the built-in ribbon bookmarks. So they only wanted a dollar a piece for these and some of these can sell on the higher side. Um, this one is the complete Sherlock Holmes. So a dollar for that, that's crazy, really nice book. Um, this one is HP Lovecraft, The Complete Fiction. So it has a bunch of different stories in. These are just so nice. This one has um, silver, um, whatchamacallit. So like, look at that in the front there, so beautiful. And then the last, this was the only other one I saw, and this is The Divine Comedy by Dante. So again, just, oh my gosh, these are so gorgeous. And this one I think does have some images in, so that's nice. So all of those for a dollar a piece, three dollars all together. I thought that was a great deal. So that is everything, no, not everything. There's one more thing I wanted to share with you guys. In my last yard sale haul video I showed you a bag full of little Barbie accessories and things like that. Um, I did end up listing the little vase with the pink flower. Um, so this here I listed for a buy it now of $14.99. So I still have to go through that bag and decide if there's anything else in there that's worth my time to try and sell separately and that kind of thing. But it seemed like this was consistently selling for about $14.99. So I decided to list that separate. So that is everything for this haul. I hope you guys enjoyed it. You'll have to let me know what you thought down below and I will see you next time.